not that I like fell into interior design. It's just like interior design was calling me for most of my life. And I like never placed that that's what I should do until I started doing it professionally on camera. And then you liked it, I imagine. So that's 10 years ago. We're talking about 10 years ago. You get your first little, I guess, taste of what it's like. And then does the show keep running and you, and you, so it's like, it goes on for many seasons or was there a, a period where you're switching to a different show or a different, a different avenue, starting your own thing? So that show lasted for two seasons, which it took about a year to shoot those. Okay. And what I learned from doing that, which has been a really valuable lesson is that TV is not something to rely on. It's a nice little infusion of publicity and it's great for business, but it is not something you should be like, I'm going to have a TV show and then I'll have another one and then it'll keep going. <laughs> because it's, fickle, so it's, it's reliant on things that are fully out of your control. You can make a great TV show that does not A, get picked up or B, continue. And things just go in and out. So like, I'm so happy that I got to make Unspouse My House and Build Me Up. Those have been really fun to make. And I think they've been great for brand building and for reaching people and telling a story. But for me, TV is never something that you should be like, I'm going to do this again, because you never know. I think that's so smart. I mean, one of the things when we first moved to LA, which is about three years ago, my friend immediately put it because we, we film everything we do. And, and the reason we film all of the projects we do is not for TV. So when I was in tech, you would always give your investors a PDF every month. And that was like the investor update. Now, nobody read it and it would always really upset me because you're, you're talking about a lot of executives working hard on this thing that nobody reads. And so I was like, I was really upset. And then I thought maybe it's the medium, right? Maybe, maybe PDFs are boring. And if they're an investor in 20 companies, then obviously that's even more boring and a lot of pressure for the investor. And so as soon as we moved to real estate, I said, instead of doing a PDF, why don't we just film it? And if we can get like a pretty cool producer or some really good production value, then it becomes like the HGTV kind of this episodic journey of showcasing everything of transparency. And so missing a fire inspection, you know, what all these little things mean. And, and that's how it got started. And then it caught obviously production companies eyes and they were like, oh, you guys should, you know, enter television show. And then my friend put me in touch with a lawyer, um, like a talent lawyer, and she was like, let me give you the reality of this industry. She's like, you might be on TV. You're going to get 400 bucks, maybe. And, and you have to be really, really clear. Like if you get to the Joanna Chip Gaines, right? They were like, you got to be really clear on specifying the seats you want on the airplane. Otherwise, they'll put you in the middle seat. You got to specify the, the class of hotel. Otherwise, they're going to put you in Motel 6s. And mm -hmm. it opened up this world of like, oh, really? And then, and then I was like, well, what about all, you know, obviously you do product shots or you might get sponsorships and they're like oh yeah you don't make any money on those unless you have it in your contract and so that's what she as the lawyer would really help these people figure out and that was my first view into oh this is this is way more complicated yeah. <laughs> um, than I thought and then when we spoke to Sophia Bush I was like what was it like you're on One Tree Hill amazing show she's like we were all terrified because the production companies would tell us that it might not air next season. And they wouldn't tell them that they had a hit show on their hands so that they wouldn't ask so for So they wouldn't raises. ask for more money. And I was like, oh, this is so, it's so terrible. It's really interesting. And so that your advice is super sound in the sense of, you know, it's great for exposure, like you said. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.